Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the Pioneer DS320. This is a fantastic family camper. You have a ton of space thanks to the two slides. You have one right here in the main living area really opening up this living area as well as the kitchen. Plus you have another one back in the bunk room allowing you to effectively have four bunks back there. If you take a look over here at the kitchen, you'll see you have plenty of prep space right here in the center. You have the double bowl stainless steel sink high rise pull out faucet folks. That's something you usually don't get in this price point. That is a great feature to have. You also have the recessed cooktop here with the glass cover so you can utilize this as prep space. You fold it up and back just like so, doubles as a backsplash and opens up those three burners. An oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. Plenty of drawers. You have two right here, three more right over there. You also have storage here underneath the sink as well as storage going all the way across the top. You'll see your microwave, your hood right here, refrigerator off to the side. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover. Right up top, you have LED lights here. You also have ducted AC as well as ducted heat. Over in the side right here, folks, this is that super slide right here. You'll see the large U-shaped dinette. This does drop down into a bed. You simply remove the legs. The table sits right along these flanges here. There's actually a couple additional cushions you throw on top. But again, this can comfortably sleep two adults. Plus, you have the jackknife sofa right over here to the side, which this is a great spot to sit. It also folds out into a bed. And look at this. You can drop it down, make it pseudo theater seating with some cup holders. Those do light up. And they have USB ports in case you need to charge electricity electronics storage all the way across here above the sofa big windows right there folks lets in a ton of natural light making our way back you will see that you have a little bit of storage right here for uh you know it's perfect spot for towels you can make it a linen closet because right over here is your bath second entrance on the bath i love this that way you can come in use the bathroom and head right back out without trapes and dirt throughout the entire rv mirrored medicine cabinet there you will see you have storage underneath the sink and a tub shower in case you want to get little ones a bath you can do that and you still have plenty of room to shower and then you'll obviously have plenty of room around the toilet there too Right back here in the bunk room, I'll close the door. You'll see you have the top bunk right here. Folks, this one does fold up and locks into place. 200 pound weight capacity on there. You have the double foldable kind of uh, square sofas right down here. You can have them facing each other just like it is or you can turn them around so the backs are this way. That way they can watch the TV here. You have another bunk right along the back. Emergency exit, hopefully that never has to be used but it certainly is there. Excellent peace of mind. Ladder. So smaller kids can climb up here into the top bunk. This, of course, is that fourth bunk. And then right here are your TV hookups in case you want TV. If you want TV up front in the main living area, we have that too. Take a look. Right here is your entertainment center. You have this nice kind of beadboard look. If you don't want a TV, not a problem. You can put some decorations there. Still looks nice. It's lit up top just like it is above the slide. It's also lit down below again, kind of helping to make that a focal point. You have your multimedia center there with a couple USB ports in case you need to charge cell phones. And when you come right here into the bedroom, you will see the queen bed. Storage underneath, big storage for some of your larger items. You have nightstands on both sides, electrical outlets there too, again, so you can plug in and charge those phones at night. You will see that you have mirrored wardrobes with hanging space and then the shelf going right across the top. Let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer DS320. Right up front is a power tongue jack, folks. This makes it really nice and easy to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Not only do you have a power tongue jack, but you also have power stabilizer jacks on here. The controls are which are right here in the pass-through. You'll see it is a big open pass-through, allowing you plenty of room for some of your camp chairs, grills, fishing poles, everything else you need to throw in there. And to top it all off, you also get the power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And it has the LED light strip on there so you have light at night. Two entrances into the DS320, the main entrance being right here. Three foldable steps with the large foldable grab handle, which makes it easier to enter and exit the RV and it gives you more control. You'll see you have TV hookups out here. If you want TV, no problem. Get the electrical outlet, your cable outlet right there. Obviously, even if you don't have a TV, you can plug anything else right into there. 
you have the undercarriage lighting. You'll see the red lights right down there, giving it a cool look at night. Plus, it lights up the steps at night, so you're not tripping over them. And then you also have the red lights in the speakers there, really giving it a, uh, a really cool look at night. The secondary entrance is right over here. As I mentioned, that leads directly into the bathroom. And one of my favorite parts, of course, is the outside kitchen. You get the larger refrigerator, you have storage, the sink, a couple of drawers down below, and an electrical outlet. Plus, right underneath here, you will see the propane quick connect for hooking up a grill or anything else you want to hook up. Right in the back here, you have the flip down bike rack with the spare tire mounted to it. You'll also see that you have an outside shower with both hot and cold access right there. And up top in the center, you can also see the backup camera prep. So if you want backup camera, it's easier to have that installed. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the Pioneer DS320. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and let's get outdoors.